the employees. Yes, <laughs> Kern, uh, the burn, uh, the the burn convention. Yeah, <laughs> and UNESCO. Oh, and then all the employees of the North American Free Trade Agreement. Yes, Canada, Mexico, and the United States. Yes, the WTO. Ouch, ouch. <laughs> and then there's the Convention on Cybercrime. <laughs> Now, which went into force in 2004, protects against copyright infringements on computer systems. <laughs> now, other major international agreements, the Geneva Phonograms Convention, ooh, <laughs> Brussels Satellite Convention, <laughs> trade-related aspects and intellectual property rights, <laughs> and the World Intellectual Property Organization Copyright Treaty. Now, what I'm really concerned about is this refusal to enforce cybercrime. <laughs> See, when you mixed them all up, right, <laughs> and you made me look stupid, yes, but you didn't because I'm the one that made the videos. <laughs> I would say that you've been torturing, yes, harassing, yes, and terrorizing individuals that I don't know their names of, yes, <laughs> that wanted to watch the videos. Oh, now let's say that I sued the FBI, yes, for refusing to enforce cybercrime. <laughs> Department of Justice. <coughs> now, I know. <coughs> you had to do your little conspiracy to make me look stupid, okay? But the truth of the matter is, these cybercrime conventions, yes, get me that convention on cybercrime. Get that for me. <coughs> now, when I think of local law enforcement, I said, well, we just got to let them do it. We got to let them do it because they're in control. <laughs> I'll sue you for allowing any person to change any of my copyrightable material. Yes. On any account that I've had, any profile, yes, any email address, 